whatever whatever it is that's dropping out of your line of vision is horrifying him. <laughs> the um, <laughs> this is Eric who came with Lothar to mm. deliver the unicorns. Yeah. I'll burn a point of edge. Thing. Okay. Let me mark that before I forget. That would be eight hits. My goodness. Uh, okay. One, two, three, that's four, five. Um, hang on a second. We got a. Okay, so it's eight hits. Um, base damage is six minus six. Fully operational Death Star. <laughs> <laughs> um, what? <laughs> Fourteen. <laughs> Force lightning. I'm going to use it. <laughs> you see one deck shoe go flying in the air. <laughs> Just <laughs> How do you articulate the smell of burnt polo? <laughs> burnt burnt <and> stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I gotta roll to uh, pull. <laughs> yeah, but hang on a second. Okay. <laughs> 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 Unicorn sucked. <laughs> Can't bake a unicorn, can't shoot a crossbow. <laughs> what good are you? <laughs> <laughs> but you aren't even married, okay. are you? Now here's a risk. The, the, because the number of hits you got exceeds your magic rating, oh, any okay. damage you take from drain here will be physical, not stun. But it was a 4-6 spell, so you need to get three hits to take no damage at all. All right. And you said that's charisma, uh, charisma plus willpower. And willpower? Mm -hmm. Do I get my uh, combat focus on that also, or no? No, no. Okay. One, two, that was only two. Okay, you take one point of physical damage, which okay, is like a he headache. <laughs> <laughs> you have a headache now. Oh. But, but it's, not enough to, uh, yeah. it's not enough to modify your die pulls. Okay. Just from the rage screen. Huh? The Birkenstock actually landed on. Stop! <laughs> 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 So six, what are we gonna do with this? <laughs> Dropped a bomb on Beaver Cleaverville. <laughs> okay, uh, you hear a great deal of screaming uh, and swearing. <laughs> <laughs> and also, uh, if you get good rolls, <clears throat> you know, footsteps running away. From that location or? From the house, yeah. Oh, from the house entirely? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm letting her go. <laughs> yeah, go get him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, I'm just going to throw her out the door. Oh my God. <laughs> I choose you. Honey, I choose you. <laughs> In um, your well dressed pantsuit. <laughs> now, if I go out there, I'm exposed to. Potentially, yeah. Whatever. Whoever also might kill them all. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever's left that's not running away from, you know, the demon dog of Stabby Town over here. <laughs> I'm still going to be back up. Okay. We'll make our way there eventually. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, three turns after you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't have to go run out to your death. <laughs> and they're retreating. We may be good for now. Or, or we could catch be. them and interrogate. Well, I'm assuming that at least half a man on the ground outside the window <laughs> might give us some, some insight. Okay. Ah, oh, jeez. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? It's your choice. What do you want? What do you want to do? And just because we hear some footsteps doesn't mean all footsteps are retreating. That one's just the smart one. Maybe there's some dumb ones still inside <laughs> that want to fight us. 
you know, after Bob, Tim, and Alex's heads exploded. And in the first five seconds. In the first five seconds. Eric, who's hiding under a bush with a crossbow, became a charred Birkenstock. <laughs> Do I just try and throw something at where the sound came from? <laughs> you're going to throw it at the retreating footsteps? Yes. Yeah, you're pretty unlikely to hit anything that way. Okay. I mean, you can try it if you want to yeah. throw your spear. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys want me to go chase it? I'll chase it. No, don't ask us. Tell us. What would your character do? Well, I'm angry. Yes, but are you angry enough to go run into possible oncoming gunfire? If they shoot at you, you can turn around and come back. <laughs> You're fast enough for that, honestly. I can see that happening. True. Yeah. I'll make, I'll so you're going to run after him? I'll run after him. See what I can do. Crap, I got a follower. I will, I will try and give chase. Okay, what's your uh, running speed? <laughs> <laughs> Light. <laughs> <It's> all. Andale, <laughs> Arriba, Arriba, <laughs> Andale. It should be listed down near the bottom of the sheet. Thirty-two. Okay. Uh, which I think is literally twice as fast as they can go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, they're trying to oh run. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> but it's wrong. Mm. So I'm going to say that, yeah, you can definitely catch up with one of them. Um, Spine check. And we're trying to just... Just bring him back? What would you like to do? Just puncture one answers. lung will be good. <laughs> you want answers. At this point, it would be... Well, I mean, you can run him down and stab him, or you can run him down and take him prisoner, or you can... Bring him back in your mm. teeth. Don't worry, you're just on camera. <laughs> it didn't happen, mm. but it was close. Like, I felt it. Um, I will try and bring him... Bring it back. Bring it back, or at least take him down. Take him down. Bring mm. it, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'll do that. Okay. Uh, it's the thirty-something uh, black woman who had stood outside with her companion, and you know, it's literally all talked of them. about and watched the house, right? Who you catch? Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, the nosy bitch. Mm. Take her down. <laughs> yeah, I'll go after. Her. By the time you uh, catch her in the stairwell. She's empty-handed. She's like, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> just, just, okay, okay. No, 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 no. I will no, polish no, your no, spear okay. if you punch no. her in the face. <laughs> you what? I will polish your spear if you punch her in the face. I'm gonna. Jesus. <laughs> the, I want uh, answers. I'm, bring, I'm holding her hostage. In the stairwell? Huh? I'm bringing her back. Okay. So, well, yeah, she'll do what you want. By the way, uh... Two guys are lying outside the windows, uh, pretty badly mashed up. Are they conscious? Um, yeah, moaning and <laughs> I'll get one. You get pressure the other. On their own <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure these guys were both speared. <laughs> pretty sure these guys were speared. <laughs> yeah, if I remember correctly, I, oh I'm gonna say that these guys were both speared. Oh, you mean the guy shot in the face didn't survive? <laughs> yeah, the guy you shot in the face did not survive. <laughs> His teeth came out the top of his head. <laughs> Better than being a Birkenstock. <laughs> okay, that guy wasn't converted into a shoe. <laughs> I want to make that clear. It wasn't an enchantment to turn crossbow man into a shoe. It's an amazing spell. I mean, <laughs> it's a good spell. I it's like very it. specific. <laughs> it's very specific. Turn crossbow man into hipster shoe. <laughs> only comes up. It's only handy. At times like these. <laughs> oh, God. I must insist you learn a Birkenstock spell. <laughs> I'll get right on it. <laughs> <laughs> One of the people who's been speared is, is Paul Crick, the husband of the woman you've just captured. Um, we got the whole family. Uh, now you're standing block. in the shot up, you know, the front of the, the condo is shot out, windows gone, door shot to pieces. Pulls the blood to slip in. Uh, the other, uh, the other guy that was on the mm. ground. Oh, you said one of them was mm -hmm. that guy. Do we know who the, uh, the other person was, or was he? Uh, let's see. You we had had Lothar, Lothar, was that, was that, that guy? 
<laughs> and you met uh, I think we'll throw, turn to the Birkenstock. James and Lori. No, no this Eric. is no, 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 Eric. this is someone you don't recognize. Although he'll introduce his name is Adam, and these people will all start talking about how how Brandon will will not let them go. Brandon will save them. Brandon. They're reassuring each other. Brandon will come. Brandon knows. Uh, I'll, uh, who's Brandon? I asked them immediately. Like, who the hell's Brandon? What was the woman's name that Alexander grabbed? Uh, her name is Lauren Crick. I say with a little bit more of a negotiation, I mm. stick my hand, like my finger, into one of the mm. wounds, and yeah. then I ah. light my fu- light eyes like Raiden. <laughs> you know, who's Brandon? B- B- Brandon. Brandon's our friend. Brandon's the head of the neighborhood association. Really? <laughs> Brandon and knew. Why in the hell? Brandon knew you were trouble. He knew you were here for us. For who? We're not that here. they sent you. Who sent us? The corporations or the government? Was it the? I was. Was it the corporations? Um, that that they wouldn't let us live in peace. We wanted to be left alone. We knew we had to strike first. And look where that guy Because I didn't want your damn bowl of fruit, for <laughs> real? Seriously. What? So we really <laughs> just wiped out a neighborhood full of... Retirees or whatever? No, they're all, like, or 30s. Idiots. <laughs> neighborhood full of idiots. They're 30-year-old idiots. idiots. There you go. <sighs> we wanted... Brandon told us you would... You were here to ruin everything. Brandon's an idiot. Because we didn't want to do any of that shit. <laughs> no, 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 no. At this no, point, no, I start no, getting no. real pissed. I <laughs> just, I, I light my... <laughs> 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 they'll, they'll scream and stuff, but they'll keep talking about Brandon. how Brandon knew that you Where's were... Where's Brandon? They're reluctant to say. What part of Zot did we not... <laughs> <laughs> he, he lives in 505. 405. <laughs> he lives in didn't even get to do it. That's yeah. fine. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 405. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess we're going to the party now. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. What do I I'm do pissed. with uh, mm. What do we do, Lauren? They keep it with us. I'd say knock her cold and leave her here. Okay. Or, you know, slit her wrist, whatever you want to do. Uh, I'm you can tie her up. Huh? You tie yeah, her there's up. that option as well. I can what? Use what? the garden hose, you know, something yeah. kind of it. Wait, tie her up. What I could oh. I'd still knock her tie out. I'd rather just knock her out and tie her up. There we go. Both Knocking yeah, people no out. No safe word. Not it's not like a bonk on the head. You've got to beat them in the head until they lose consciousness. How about just I butt them with the end of the mossberg? Not convenient. Okay, yeah. Do that. <laughs> Do that. It's probably easier. I'm not trying mm-hmm. to kindly knock her out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really worried about the long term <laughs> effects. Everything is quiet upstairs. The courtyard is silent. Sure. The lights are on. There's no one in 405. Did we ever get uh, send the uh, uh, dragonfly drone back? I don't think we. I think we did. Yeah, you did. That last mm-hmm. time. The last time we did. We just yeah. got the message. We didn't send. Instant, we didn't send word back or anything. Oh no, I'm sorry. You still do have the dragonfly, but you don't. You don't control it. You're not the operator of the drone. Well, no. I was, no. I was hoping we could go find it and tell it that we've been compromised. Yeah, you so can. You can absolutely do that. That's <laughs> probably sensible. Yeah. Makes sense. I'm sure it's sitting in the back room, going, "What the fuck is going on?" <laughs> Well, no, I, it's just sitting there is what I'm hoping. You know what? This is why Foley wants to Completely compromised. <laughs> well, come to think of it, actually, the drone... That's a good point. The drone actually comes buzzing out into the mess, like, going around in inquisitive circles, like, what was all that noise, you know? Yeah, I don't know if it's recording now, just <laughs> for prosperity or what. But it's going to have to record now. <laughs> like, look at this, this. You told to stay low. Look at this. <laughs> Again, we didn't knock on their yeah, door. exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, I'll take the drone real quick. Uh, We've been compromised. We need extraction. Um, attacked by the neighborhood. <laughs> Brendan. <laughs> attacked by the, Rat, the, radi- the HOA? Uh, ra- uh, radical neighborhood uh, okay. inhabitants uh, have come after us. Okay. Well, I'll, let, I'll let it go. Fucking Brendan. You go upstairs. Mm-hmm. 405, you can kick the door in if you want. Neatly yep. kept, but empty. Uh, obviously, somebody lives there. Lots of pictures uh, in displays, AR displays still going. Everybody in the neighborhood, you know, people at, you know, hanging out in the garden, big smiles. Uh, Brandon's very good looking human. Um, uh, sandy blonde hair, great big smiles, you know. Yeah, got a little plastic smile. Got a thing that says 
neighborhood association. neighborhood association. Um, <clears throat> pictures of them, you know, playing frisbee, people hanging out. Some pictures of somber moments, you know, some visiting somebody in the hospital. Um, Sacrificing small things mm. to the uh, <laughs> dark lord. In, in, uh, the dark in the lord. bedroom, the AR pictures that uh, are um, mostly of their swinger parties. Uh, mostly what? Of their swinger parties. Yeah. Okay. Uh, give me, what are your, what are your knowledge spe- skills? Uh, knowledge skills, let me see here. Uh, magic theory, spirits, VR games, and corporate history. Give me magic theory. All right. <laughs> For real. You tried to shoot us down, murder uh, us in cold blood, uh-huh. and tase us apparently, uh-huh. because you were worried about us ruining your swinger parties. Yep. But I hope I don't find Brent. <laughs> <laughs> I did not get a single hit. <laughs> Three's company all over the us. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to burn edge on that. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I said I'm not going to burn edge. I don't think. Okay. Small units, old ways, uh, and current events. Uh, Give me your intuition plus two. Um, you know that while you are an adept who has uh, concentrated your magical ability into your superhuman reaction and agility and so on, that some adepts concentrate their magic into social ability and become incredibly, incredibly charismatic and persuasive. Um, <laughs> and uh, these people sometimes fi- often find themselves as social leaders, um, rise to high positions in corporations or, or governments or cults. Or neighborhood, neighborhood association. associations. <laughs> neighborhood association. How's that different from a cult? There's <laughs> almost no difference. It's very <laughs> but Brandon is definitely gone. You don't see him anywhere. And you need to be extracted. Right. The survivors had explained to you that Brandon had told them that you had come to interfere with their utopia. That the world could not tolerate anyone as wise as they were. All right, guys, it's my fault. <laughs> my bad. I should have taken the damn fruit basket. <laughs> <laughs> I should have taken the fruit basket. <laughs> Apparently we missed out on a swinger party, too. I don't know what... <laughs> but bad. they send... I don't want to fuck that kind of crazy. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not anymore, huh? <laughs> and there's the title of the episode. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. <laughs> Do you apply healing magic to any of the survivors? Uh, no. No, no you do not. <laughs> I'm joking. Not really feeling it. <laughs> a few minutes later, the RV pulls well, up I outside. Mean, no, here's the thing. How convenient. They're just being <laughs> led on by this brand Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, he led fault. you to my front door with a fully automatic weapon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but they're being, like, super, like, you know? What, I'm supposed to waste magic because you're stupid? It's not your magic. I don't care. <laughs> and you're not wasting it. He has an endless supply of spells. See? I'm not that nice of a person. <laughs> well, not you can... You I'm not either. <laughs> mm. This is why we get along. Okay, well, fine. all the noise will have attracted the authorities, probably. Yeah, I don't want them to have any chance of healing and running away. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'll let, you know, I'll let them... So you, you know, gather up your stuff again. Stuff. <laughs> yeah. Leave the groceries. And... Can I take the beer or back in the, Yeah, sure. You can take it. <laughs> I take a unicorn. Just like, <laughs> a unicorn. <laughs> One for the road. And your rendezvous with Conception Sinaloa. We'll have to wait for another night. Okay. So ten karma points apiece. Woo! Yay! And that's the end of our session. Woo! Yay! These episodes were recorded at Campus Cards and Games Two near Full Sail University. Thank you, Campus Cards and Games, for letting us use the space. I am and Brian Downs, points. the novelist. You can find my work. Uh, on Amazon, the Kindle, and Audible, my latest novel, Red Sleeper, a thriller about G-men, commies, and vampires in 1950s Detroit, is available as an audiobook. This is Genki Gus Studios. I am DJ. I am the first half, and like I said, you can find us at GenkiGothStudios.com, or Google anything Genki Goth, G-E-N-K-I-G-O-T-H, and that's probably us. And Miriam, and I'm also Genki Studios and everything he said. So. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I'm Tyler Wislowski with Crit Roll Innovations, and uh, thank you. Thanks, everybody. This was extremely gratifying to me. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to nap now. <laughs>